Okay, so it's all about the tools I use to create content for the fabulous brands I work with. Okay, I'm gonna start off this way because um, I basically have to use my cameras because that's basically part of what I do. So, if you are new to my channel, my name is Monica. I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. I have been blogging for eight years, full time four years. Um, I have created content for amazing brands. And disclaimer, before we get into it, and this will determine if this video is for you or not, I am not a tech person. I am truly a fashion blogger. However, I am also a creative, I'm an artist, so I love to create. Hence, I like tools that make my creation process easy. These are the tools that make life easy for me. Um, you can check out my YouTube page, uh, sorry. <laughs> you can check out my website to see what I'm talking about in terms of the content that I create. Um, and you can check out my Instagram page. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I use to make amazing content for the brands that I work with and that I continue to work with. I've created content for amazing brands such as Dior, Lincoln, Motos, um, Target, Walmart, Sephora, Talbots, um, the list goes on. And I've gotten featured in some major magazines such as InStyle, People Style Watch, um, Vanity Fair. Um, yeah, so in order to make my job a little easier, I have invested in tools that pretty much make my work as easy as possible. So I'm going to walk you through what I use. I'm gonna tell you why I use the pieces, um, you know, and I will, I'll try and put like images in some of the um, campaigns that I've, you know, done and so you can see the product and you can also check out my website oddbymonica.com just to see what my site looks like. Um, I partnered with Chloe Digital to make a extremely user-friendly um, website um, and yeah so I, I do a lot of, I pretty much do most all, mostly all of my work. I've worked with a few photographers here and there but we pretty much have the same um, equipment so with that said if you know you feel like you know what I want to see what she uses I want to get ideas in terms of equipment cameras lenses apps keep on watching because I'm gonna share it all with you and I have my book because um I don't want to forget anything so yeah let's get into it okay so first things first we're gonna talk about cameras um, I have two cameras that I use when I started I was using a rebel t3i you know um, however I have probably gone through about three cameras right now and now I use the mark 4 5d I love the camera it makes life easier for me I, I have to say it was a game changer uh, another blogger friend of mine you know she um, she got it and I shot her with it and I was like that's it that that was it you know so I've used the camera I love it it's easy to use but the body itself is a game changer for me it's just a, a lot more focal points I find it very easy to use um, indoor outdoor shooting so that has been a game changer for me and it's easy I know it's a little bit expensive um, has the body I bought the body alone just because I already had a lens and I'll go into the lens um, after but if you want to invest in your craft like I, I really I strongly believe what you put into your business is what you get out of it I have invested my time and money into equipment so and I believe I'm reaping the benefits of that so with that said um, the Canon Mark 4 5D is a great investment and if you blog full-time or if you are trying to make this your full-time job and you want stellar images get the camera it's easy you know it connects to your phone it does all these really cool things but I think that might be a Canon thing so yeah but yeah that's one camera I use then for vlogging I um, I bought the Canon mark or the Canon G G7 mark 2 power shot so the G7 yes I bought that 
and it's been an amazing camera. Um, I just recently started using my 5D to actually vlog as well. So I've been doing using that for my YouTube um, videos. However, I like to give like, you know, different angles. So I use the G7 for, you know, more of a wider angle. It can get full outfits. And if you're not a fashion blogger, you know, it's great. It's lightweight, great handheld camera. You can flip it over so you can see what you're doing. Um, so that is just a really great camera. And I find that it really does a good job of optimizing um, light. Um, so I, I feel like with your SLR, or with my Canon um, Mark V or Mark IV, um, I really have to play around with the ISOs and everything, which eventually I really got good at it. But in the beginning, I wasn't good. You really have to watch a lot of videos and kind of teach yourself to how to adopt to light but that's a totally different video y'all let me know if you want to go over that video just like the easy ways around everything that's my thing anywho g7 great camera lightweight optimizes light does a great job great for vlogging when i went to when i go for fashion week so new york paris whatever that's the camera i take with me you know i'm taking everything it does a great job not terribly expensive i think it's totally worth it it actually takes pretty good images one year i was in new york for fashion week um had my my um slr with me broke the lens so i had the g7 and that's what i used to shoot for the rest of the trip so the images were not you know my mark four image worthy but they were pretty good and i used them so those are the two cameras i use all right lenses lenses are a big deal a really big deal and I didn't realize how much of a game changer lenses were until I started investing in lenses so when I originally got my camera my old you know rebel t3 you know I used the lens that came with it no mm -mm. if you want amazing images especially as a blogger because we tend to want to focus on certain things whether if it's fashion or food or whatnot whatever your passion is in terms of blogging you want your images to focus hence the canon 50 millimeter is a game changer it's got great depth of field it has that 1.4 aperture which kind of blurs all that background so you can really capture fabric you can capture movement you can capture texture in terms of food it's just a great camera it's not terribly expensive I invested in the lens long time ago like I said one fashion week ago I broke my lens I bought another one because you know I bought another one instantly because it is a game changer it really is that lens that does a great job the images are night and day so I highly recommend that lens um, if you have a basic camera the beauty of Canon you can kind of take the lenses off and you can put them on different frames but you want to get a good body because that will help you focus and that will help you do a lot of different things in terms of lighting and focus and all of that stuff so but yeah the 50 millimeter excellent lens so hanging out with another blogger friend another different occasion and she got this lens it was a, a wide angle lens and I was like oh and the images were so amazing and I've worked with car companies and companies that you know require shooting indoors but it's a little hard with the 50 millimeter because it's a fixed lens so she showed me this 16 to 35 millimeter lens it's an EF 16 to 35 the f-stop is um 2.8 great lens i love this lens it's been a lifesaver in a lot of occasions where i you know need to capture more and i don't have enough space to step all the way back with the 50 millimeter like i said the 50 millimeter is a fixed lens so there's only so much you can do in terms of space so if you're in an enclosed smaller area this other lens this lens is perfect the images are great um there there's just something about the way they make images look that's just so like it's amazing like it looks so good um, yeah this lens is awesome it's beautiful um, when I travel it's it, it comes with me it basically comes with me everywhere so like I said if you're in an enclosed space smaller space you want to capture more of the room if you're in a car or things like that it's just an easy lens you pop it on it does the work for you great the images look crisp they look amazing and this lens the 16 to 35 is a little heavier um, and it is expensive but I feel like it's worth it like like I said if this is your craft and this is what you do full-time you need the equipment 
you need the equipment that will help you excel. So, now we are on to batteries. Okay, this is really, really important. Have doubles of everything. So your batteries, I have an extra battery for both of my cameras. I highly recommend you all get extra batteries. I've been stuck in too many situations where I'm shooting and then, oh snap, I forgot to charge, I don't have another battery, and you're done. So make sure you double up on batteries, have extra chargers, have all of that good stuff. So yeah, very, very important. Okay, memory cards. I, so I remember shooting and just like, everything was so slow, it was almost like in slow motion and, and, the, and the, the, the camera wasn't moving fast enough. So I asked one of my photographer friends, like, what the hell, like, why, why can't I go fast with it? Um, so he was like, you know, it's your disc, or your card rather, and you have to get a card that is super fast and all of that good stuff. So I got a Lexar, I think it's called, a 64 gig um, memory card, and it's like a six, 250 MB, I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I just was like, okay, he's like, yeah, those numbers are high, so it's good and it's fast. So yeah, that's a picture of it. Yes, these um, memory cards are amazing. Like, I'm like putting my finger on it and it just goes, you know, it just goes. So good memory card to have. So if you find that your camera is running slow, it's probably because of your memory card. So I would say before every shoot, format the card. Um, but if you have 64 gigs, like that's like plenty of space. So yeah, and I and I have two extras of these just in case, but like there's nothing that I'm gonna do that I won't like download and then keep on going. So, but yeah, a good memory card is gold and like you need one. Like it's super, super, super important. Okay, next, my tripods. Um, I got this tripod and yo, know, like game changer. It's called the Manfrotto. Um, I got the Manfrotto B-Free B Aluminium Travel Lightweight. So it's lightweight, it's small, like it literally goes into my carry-on. When I travel, and whenever I'm traveling, I'm shooting, but when I travel, my equipment, like my equipment is I would consider my equipment like my baby so it travels with me there's no way it's gonna get lost or stolen or any of that so having a tripod that fits into my carry-on but that's sturdy and that won't move was like game changer I had an older tripod that I just randomly bought because I was just like ah oh, whatever I don't really you know want to invest in it yeah compared to this one like it's been everywhere with me it's been to Paris New York America like it is the best tripod and it's cute it's small it's compact lightweight and it's sturdy it takes my big lens it takes everything and it doesn't move so Manfrotto love it oh my by the way this is not a sponsored post so none of these brands sponsored this it's just me sharing with you guys what I use and if you're like me that is like not super techie but wants good product to use to you know build your craft then keep on watching anywho so that's one of the tripods that I have. Then I have gimbals. Um, I recently invested in gimbals. I have the Xeon Crane Plus, which is awesome. I'm using that to like record on my G7. <laughs> so it's so cool because I have like the app on my phone and I can record, I can make it go up and down and it does a selfie mode and it does all this cool stuff. And I have to say, it's still fairly new to me, but I've used it to shoot and I love it. And I need to educate myself a little bit more about the gimbal because I know there's so much more that I can do. But I've just been super busy, so I haven't done that yet. But it's still very easy to use without like going over and over and over all the different stuff it can do. So it's it's good. It's been really good for me, but I know it can do more. So it's and I have a gimbal for my um, iPhone. Um, I have, oh, I should have mentioned that my iPhone is one of my cameras. I have the iPhone um, 11, the Pro, 11 Pro, and I have used this to film house tours, my kitchen tour, my master suite tour, um, and these images are great. Like, once upon a time, I would never put iPhone images on my timeline, on my Instagram page, but now I do just because 
the images are excellent um, yeah so there are they are amazing highly recommend you get the iPhone 11 Pro for the photography it's excellent um, yeah it does a great job so yes I have a gimbal for the iPhone it is an iSteady mobile I think it's called Hickam is the name of the brand but I'll have everything I'll have all the details of all the product all the tools I use in the comments in the description section so make sure you check that out great this this um this gimbal is pretty awesome you can connect it to your cell phone and you can control it with your cell phone even my son uses it you know when i need help with just doing some video whatever work and i just need a quick hand so it's very lightweight very easy to use all right now to microphones so i have to say i didn't realize how important having a good microphone is like i've tried different mics that I felt like did nothing and then I tried like the ones you clip on your body and whatnot but I recently got this the Rode NTG4 um and game changer when it comes to my videos I always had a YouTube channel but I've never paid attention to it until COVID started so in the last I would say four or five months I've really focused on my YouTube channel and I have to say, I'm so proud of the content that I've been putting out. And I have to, um, I have to basically attribute attribute the content to the tools that I work with, including my microphone, which is above my head. Um, I've got this amazing stand to go with it, but we'll talk about the microphone itself. It's the shotgun mic with the built-in battery. I love it. Um, it's so crisp. It's so good. It's so easy. It's made my life easy because before I used to like, like my my vol my sound used to give me like anxiety because I just hated it. I hated that little, you know, like noise, crinkly noise in the background used to drive me crazy. But like I have no extra padding in this room. I'm in my office. I do have the carpet floor. I'm going to change the carpet floor to wood, so I'm a little afraid like how that's going to be, but for the most part right now, amazing sound quality with my overhead like microphone right on top of See it. the stand. It's a new, newer pro. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but yeah, I'll have the link to that. The stand was a little, my, actually my brother suggested this stand. Uh, I was like, why in God's name do I need to spend that much money on a damn stand? But I'm so happy I did because when it came in, the stand looks amazing. It looks great in my office. I'm a very visual person and everything has to tie in. And the stand looks stunning because I, I, I'm also somewhat of a minimalist so I don't like having things everywhere. So all my equipment has to be able to fold up and I have to store it. But the stand was so beautiful that I figured, you know what? It has its own place. So it just, you know, it stays here in the office and it's over my head right now getting all the great sound. So. I love it highly recommend it if you need something cute that you want to have on display so for me it's not only is it functional but it's also a fixture you know in my office so it just looks good and it works <laughs> okay so now on to computers so I have two computers I have my laptop and I have my desktop I use Apple products just because of the fact that I can sync everything. Actually, I should say my phone is also my computer because I work so much on my phone. But the fact that I can airdrop files and everything is like a game changer for me. Um, I never really used to be an Apple fan, but because it makes my life so much easier and it makes work so easy, I highly recommend Apple products um, just because of that function alone. I have the iMac 27 inch, one terabyte, I, you know, photography is my thing. I do my editing, I do my videos, so I need storage. So basically I invested in um, my laptop, it's got a ton of storage, as well as my desktop. My phone has probably two terabytes, um, and I'm probably halfway on the memory. I know I need to delete stuff, but anywho, yes. So uh, iMac 27 inch, one terabyte, and my laptop is a MacBook Pro, um, 16 gigs. All of that good stuff. All the information will be there. And then I have external hard drives. Um, I have, I technically have three external hard drives, but I have two that are one terabyte each. 
I highly recommend having external hard drives. It's so important. God forbid your laptop crashes or your computer crashes or the cloud goes up in flames or whatever. You have this information, especially because brands will come back to you and want images years later. Like I just had a brand contact me that they want images from last year. And thank God I have everything backed up on the cloud, on my external heart. I have everything backed up everywhere just in case because your images are worth so much money. You have no idea. So if you're not charging usage fees for your images, make sure you do. Anywho, that's a different conversation. So have your external hard drives. I have the WD, the four terabyte elements. Elements, yes, very good. Um, and it's a portable hard drive. So the apps that I use, Adobe, I love Adobe Photoshop. Game Changer, Lightroom, Bible. If you want to create amazing images, Lightroom is the way forward. Like, I don't know what other apps are out there, but as far as I'm concerned in terms of photography and being able to like get in there and like really make sure your pictures are amazing, like billboard, like amazing, Lightroom. I'm sure there's other apps. Like I said, I'm not a techie, but Lightroom has been game changer for me. I love it. My images always come out amazing. I love the way I can manipulate light. Um, I'm not going to try and give you guys a tutorial about Lightroom or whatnot, but because that's a whole different video, but it's just an amazing app. I, it's, it's taken me years to kind of um, perfect the app. Um, but yeah, people ask me like, oh, where did you buy your presets from? I'm like, I didn't buy them from anywhere. I made my own presets. So I've made my own presets with Lightroom um, and I love it. I just, I feel like it is, once you play around with it, it's easy. Or even if you get a preset that you kind of like, you can still play around with it. But I highly recommend Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop. So I kind of have a system, which is probably a bit more complicated than most. I start with Lightroom, then I go to Photoshop to clean everything up. Then I go back to Lightroom again. But I'm just extra, but yeah, Lightroom. And then iMovie for my videos. I just find that iMovie is easy. I, I you know, my um, brother has told me to get um, Adobe Premiere, I think it's called. And I have DaVinci and all of those. Uh, it, it's, it's, just, it's a lot, it's too much. And I don't, I personally just don't have time to start learning all this new stuff again. So I rather perfect what I use, make it look amazing. Eventually, I probably will graduate to something else just because I don't like iMovie's transitions as much. But if you film the right way, you probably don't need elaborate transitions anyway. So, you know, I use iMovie. I love it. It's easy to use. It makes my life easy, basically. And then face tunes every now and then, you know, I have to go back in and smooth things up a little bit before I put it on Instagram. I don't really use um, Facetune for um, media projects or if I'm sending images to my clients just because it's overly airbrushed and all of that stuff. And I want my images to look as natural as possible. And I think Photoshop and Lightroom does a good job with that. But for Instagram, you know, we're all extra on Instagram. So I'll take it to, um, to Facetune make it just a little bit smoother, maybe make my teeth a little whiter, but I now take it back to um, to Lightroom to just make it look a bit more natural and not so, you know, like artificial or whatever fake. And yeah. And I also use Cavus. Um, I use that for my YouTube and just little images, whatnot. Photo Grid, Canon Connect, that was um, what I use with my Canon to connect it and shoot with my phone. Um, Unfold, which is really good for Instagram stories and um, stuff like that. InShot, it's a quick app to kind of put videos together. I also use that for my stories and just, you know, if I'm creating stories for a brand and they want Instagram stories, it just makes it a bit more animated. Um, and Preview, Preview is a great little tool that I use to kind of like look at all my um, images on Instagram to make sure my um, my timeline looks good. Um, I know people say that the um, brands don't really look at it, but for me visually, I'm a visual person, and I do believe when someone goes to check out your timeline and they glance through it, if it's not visually ap appealing, they'll skip through. But if you can connect and if you can capture someone's attention, instantly more than likely they will follow you they'll scroll through and you know you'll get a new follower so i strongly recommend having a great timeline on instagram and preview is just a really good app for me to see my timeline to make sure everything flows so those are the apps i use all right guys so that's pretty much it the equipment i use the cameras the tools oh i almost forgot the cases i do put my phone sorry i do put my um 
camera in a case, especially for travel, you have to protect your camera, you have to protect your lens. If you mess them up, you are done with. So I do have the cases, um, a case for my phone. This is a um, auto box. Um, yeah, and just having good cases that are durable that will ensure that your um, equipment doesn't get crapped up or damaged, also very important. That's it. Easy, right? Um, those are the tools that I use to create content for amazing brands. Um, I love these things. Like I said, I don't like complications. I, I like to make my work as easy as possible. Um, I'm not a tech person, but I've been able to successfully create amazing content for major brands and this is what I use. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you never miss a video. I will continue to do videos like this. Let me know with your comments below what you want to see. Um, coming from a girl who is not tech savvy per se, but loves to create great content and loves to invest in what she does, subscribe, because I'm gonna do more of these. And if you are a fashion person, if you like fashion, definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, in and not only do I do fashion content, but I also do home. I am really good at home decor. So follow that. And beauty, lifestyle, all that good stuff. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope this has been helpful. And until next time, bye. Oh, don't forget to check out oddbymonica.com. And follow me on Instagram, oddbymonica. Ciao. Bye, guys.